What's up guys, welcome back to So Many Parks So Little Time, or as I like to call it, Storm Passing Little Rock. So today we are in Biloxi, Mississippi. This is a sort of a beach resort community. It's famous for having a bunch of casinos, hotels, entertainment, all along the Gulf of Mexico here in Mississippi. Now for the past several years, this place has been missing theme park attractions. And just recently, not one, but two places started adding roller coasters and other thrill rides. So here I am to check it out. This is my first time ever in Mississippi and actually as of about half an hour ago I have now been to all 50 states in the US. I'm also continuing my quest to ride a roller coaster in every single state. So yeah we're starting off at a Paradise Pier. This is a brand new park. It's opened up by Margaritaville and yeah they got a roller coaster here and I'm very excited and interested to check it out. I'm pretty sure it's something that I'm going to like and not anything that I'm going to dry heave in my mouth for. There's also a really cool Ferris wheel overlooking the Gulf and a rising bar that I'm hoping is open. And it is a little bit windy, but yeah, let's go check out Paradise Pier. Alrighty, just entered the park, got my wristband. Now let's take a look at this roller coaster and what the f is that?
Okay, so, no joke, dropping the SBF Visa Spinner stick, that was one of the wildest roller coaster experiences I've ever had. I mean, you saw the footage, I was upside down for like 10 seconds straight. It was one of the most ridiculous feelings I could get on a roller coaster. Not even a free spin could match just the wildness it was just being dangled upside down like that. Just an absolutely ridiculous ride. And apart from that, it was actually the best hamster wheel uh, coaster that I've been on so far. It felt a lot smoother than the other two I've been on. And overall, I feel like SPF Visa refined their concept with this ride. It's actually pretty darn decent. And actually the spinning part is pretty tame, which, I mean, that's kind of what they were going for. Two cars are extreme and two cars are more family friendly. So I've just been lying here lazily for the past 15 minutes or so. Just a quick review of Aero Bar. That was absolutely fantastic. It was my first Aero Bar or Rising Bar, and I really, really enjoyed it. Usually I have a thing for heights, but uh, for some reason it just was not clicking for me, probably because it was so awesome. And also because I had a drink in a hand, I was very relaxed. And yeah, dude, just this whole park, in I'm gonna put sunglasses back on. This whole park in general, I'm just really, really enjoying it. Honestly, most underrated park of this Gulf Coast trip by far. I'm very much enjoying it here. was not operating when I was there, so I'm really glad that this one is. Whoa! Oh boy! Whoa! Whoa! Dude, that view of the bay! Woo! Whoa! Whoa!
Okay, so sort of like I did for Tropic Falls, I'm gonna sort of walk around and uh, show off the park a little bit. So while I described Tropic Falls as being colorful but lacking character, this one feels the exact opposite. It's not the most colorful, but it's certainly got character. I love all of the uh, sea-themed uh, rides and attractions that they have here. Because, yeah, just uh, looking at the bay, it might get a little windy here, but... Yeah, looking at the bay and uh, the Gulf of Mexico way over there, it is really, really cool. And yeah, just its placement on uh, the coast is really, really awesome. So like Tropic Falls, this park also has a whole lot of Zamperla rides. But then, of course, they got a the SBF Visa spinning coaster here. So it seems like it's a relatively nice blend of attractions here. Swinging ship was okay. Not the best one, but not the worst one either. Yeah, rather than just going with generic names or generic themes, everything here seems to really, really fit together quite well. It's very unique. It, some thought and effort was definitely put into this. I do think some parts could you use some work, like uh, some of these walls here are very uh, barren. But then other parts are just really well done. I really, really like this uh, plaza area with the fountain and just a whole bunch of beanbags that you can relax in. Also, it looks like they got some uh, live music uh, playing right now. My name's Tommy, what's yours? They are touting Escape Family Entertainment Center here as the America's largest arcade, as well as having a bunch of other pretty cool stuff inside, so let's take a quick look. I don't know if it's a controversial opinion to say, but Aerobar is far and away the best attraction here. Super unique. You don't see a lot of these uh, rising bars here in the U.S. I know there's, uh, I think there's one at Park Asterix, but otherwise, here in the U.S., not very common. And when I said it's lacking color, it, that doesn't mean it's completely absent of color. There's still some uh, areas that look really, really nice. And yeah, this carousel is just a very nice centerpiece here. Yeah, just a uh, scaly sea horses, I guess. Really shows uh, thought and effort put into this, even if it's not a classic carousel. And yeah, that's about it. Really, really love this place.
Park in Biloxi, Mississippi. And man, I was not expecting to enjoy this park as much as I did. This is just such a laid back, relaxed park with just a perfect blend of thrill rides. Everything here complements each other perfectly and then the view of the, the Bay Area, the Gulf of Mexico, just fantastic. And then yeah, the, the wristbands are a little bit pricey, but if you come on a date like today where there are no lines for everything, you can just knock out everything. I'm getting my second lap on the Ferris wheel. It will pay for itself, no problem. The coaster, it's an SPF piece of spinner, but I actually enjoy it, so take that for what you will. Plus, it's another checkbox for my trying to ride a roller coaster in all 50 states. Cool. So do I recommend Paradise Pier? Yes, I do, totally. This is such a fun place and definitely the highlight of my Gulf Coast trip so far. But we're not done with Biloxi just quite yet. More adventures continue in three, two, been a while since that's happened. So anyway, we are now at Big Play Entertainment Center on the complete opposite side of Biloxi. Now, before there was Paradise Pier, there was Big Play, and Big Play actually sort of revolutionized roller coasters and thrills in Mississippi by becoming the first park to add a roller coaster in Mississippi in however long. There used to be just one roller coaster that operates at a fairground that's only open a couple weekends of the year. After a Hurricane, the uh, SPF Visa Galaxy behind me opened up, then they opened up a powered coaster, and then Paradise Pier opened up, so it's something of a bit of a revolution here in Mississippi. So yeah, it's a small little amusement park. They got this coaster and the powered coaster, gonna check those out and uh, see what else is here. So let's go check out Big Play.
Roxy Beach Hurricane was a lot of fun. You may sort of recognize this layout as it's been uh, licensed to multiple different manufacturers for them to make on their own. You may remember the uh, inner park model from uh, the Alaska State Fair. Well, this one was made by SPF Visa and it's basically the, the exact same layout. This one does feel like it runs a bit faster than the Aftershock. But even though it's a little bit faster, there's still this, the same amount of forces, not that much airtime. It's just a little bit more zippy. And funnily enough, the brakes on this for some reason makes the ride sound like a dolphin. So seaside theming, I guess. But yeah, overall fun ride. Tornado was fun. On the Helix you actually get some pretty fun laterals. Yeah, it's a pretty basic Zamperla powered coaster model, but even still a fun ride. I'm not sure I've ever seen this many go-karts on a track before. <laughs> seen that font before. So yeah, as you can see, this place kind of looks like a permanent fairground. But I mean, that's kind of what they're, I feel like that's a aesthetic that they're going for. They're not trying to be a major amusement park destination. They're just another entertainment center that happens to have rides and amusements here as well. So that
that's going to do it for Big Play Entertainment as well as for Biloxi, Mississippi. Man, I did not have that many expectations coming into this city, but they were all blown away. I had so much fun here. While the ride offerings might not be the strongest, they have a very wide range of activities that you can do here, as well as a couple standouts. And then all of that along the beautiful Gulf of Mexico made for an excellent time. I spent quite a bit more time at Paradise Pier specifically than I thought that I would, and I honestly thought that Big Play would have my attention given they got the bigger roller coaster here. So overall, what can I say? This was just a really fantastic time. You really never hear anyone talk about any of these parks, and it's kind of a shame, though I hope that by putting these parks in this video, it will at least help sort of spread the attention and spread the love for these parks as well as for Biloxi. Yeah, none of these parks are necessarily destination parks, but I'm here right now and I had a fantastic time, and I would definitely love to spread those good times to other people as well. So in conclusion, just lots of great things come to Biloxi. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We'll see which park we're at. Take care. It's a treat to beat your feet on the Mississippi mud. It's a treat to beat your feet on the Mississippi mud.